One thing we haven't talked about yet is how to calculate a reorder point uh, whenever you have varying demand because everything we've talked about in the past has been we've been assuming that uh, demand stays the same over time and that's just really not realistic. Demand's really going to be bouncing back and forth uh, from day to day, week to week and what we're really trying to get here in, uh, at, when we're looking at inventory management is the two questions of when to order and how much to order. So since we have this idea of variability, we need to go back and remember some things that we knew from statistics. And if you can go back for, to your statistics stage and look at the normal curve, we know that from looking at this graph here that 68.26% of all of our daily demands are going to fall within one standard deviation of the mean. Again, if we look at the mean and we start going out one standard deviation either way, within one standard deviation of the mean is 68.26% of all of our demands. Uh, that means that if our mean was 10, our standard devi I'm sorry, our mean is 100, our standard deviation is 10, that 68.26% of all of our demands would fall between 90, which is a mean of 100, minus 10, and 110, which is a mean of 100, plus the standard deviation of 10. So how do we take and apply this now? Let's go back in and look from a service level. What percentage of our demands could we cover if we had um, a only 70 items in stock? If we reordered when we got down to 70, that means that we would have 100, which is our mean, minus 3 times the number of standard, standard deviations, which is 10. If we reordered at 70, that means that we would only be covering about 0.14% of all of our demands. Conversely, if we go all the way to the other end and we increase our reorder point to 130, where we keep at least 130 items on hand before we reorder, that means the number of uh, items that we would be covering would be 99.8% six percent of all of the demands during a lead time. We take that one stretch further here. The way we get to this is going back to the idea of the Z statistic. Okay, you remember the Z statistic really says how many standard deviations are you away from the mean. If you have a Z of one, that means you're one standard deviation above the mean. That means that you would have, if you reordered based on a one standard deviation above the mean that you would have enough uh, inventory to cover 84.13 percent. 50 percent of it is because half of it falls on this side and then this additional percentage here takes us up to one standard deviation. So again if I have a, a Z of 1 I would be able to cover 84.13 percent of my demand. So this starts taking us to the area of the discussion about a um, setting our lead times. So if I'm setting my lead time and I want to be able to get to at least 84.13%, that also means that I'm going to be missing 15.87% of my demand. That takes us to the concept of a service level. A service level means where should I be setting my reorder point to make sure that I have at least enough um, inventory on hand to cover the demands that come in during a lead time. If I want a 99% service level, I need a Z of 2.33. If I need to make sure that I cover 95% of all of the items that are going to come in during a lead time, I need a Z of 1.64. 90% service level is a Z of 1.28. You'll be uh, you will need these whenever you get ready to calculate this in a minute. Because what I'm trying to accomplish here is I want to set a reorder point based on my average demand during the lead time plus the Z that I need for my service level plus the standard deviation. Here's an example. If I wanted a 95% service level, my average lead time during demand is 10. My average standard deviation during lead time is 4. My reorder point can be calculated by doing this. R equals standard 
uh, sorry, the average during the lead time, Z statistic for 95%, which is 1.64. I gave that to you just two slides before. And then I'm going to multiply it times the standard deviation. That means my R equals 10 plus 1.64 times 4. My reorder point is therefore 6.15.56. And because we order in whole units, I would need to round that up to 17. Hopefully this makes sense to you and you start to see how you can use um, statistics to be able to help you calculate how much to order.